Identification. This is not for broadcast. Level 6. Unit 7. Lesson 11. English for Ethiopia. English for Ethiopia. This is English for Ethiopia, Grade 6, Unit 7, Lesson 11. Produced by Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology. I can speak to you, you can speak to me. I can speak to you, you can speak to me. English for Ethiopia. students. Hello everyone. See everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine and how are you? We're learning, yes we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the nurse Good, everyone. Good morning, Obangin Jalani. Good morning, Salam. Today, we are going to listen to a poem. Miss Sarah will read us a poem which is entitled, My Family. Listen to the poem very carefully and try to answer the comprehension questions, which are on page 124 of your textbook. Students, you also listen. Okay. okay. Teacher, please make sure that the students have opened their textbook on page 124. You have 20 seconds. Time is up. That is very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, please have the students read the comprehension questions, which are on page 124 of their textbook. You have 40 seconds. Time is up. That is very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, students, listen to the poem. Here we go. My family, my family, my treasure, when all of us sit together, it is a world full of happiness. Children play and sing. The adults sit and talk. My family, my pride, a big, large family, even in times of sorrow, we sit closer to solve problems. All of us feel the same pain. United we stand when a new one is born. Our family expands 
everybody rejoices. Our parents become grandparents. Grandparents become great grandparents. My family, my life. When God created us, He put us in families, a family to keep us together. Now, students, listen to the poem one more time. My family, my family, my treasure. When all of us sit together, it is a world full of happiness. Children play and sing, the adults sit and talk. My family, my pride, a big, large family. Even in times of sorrow, we sit closer to solve problems. All of us feel the same pain. United we stand when a new one is born. Our family expands. Everybody rejoices. Our parents become grandparents. Grandparents become great grandparents. My family, my life. When God created us, He put us in families, a family to keep us together. That is good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, students, when I say a sentence, you will respond to me, saying, "True or false." Teacher, please explain the instruction to the students. You have twenty seconds. Time is up. Thank you, teacher. Now, students, listen. Large families don't share their happiness and sorrow. Again, students, listen. Large families don't share their happiness and sorrow. Students. Please respond. Say false. Students, listen. The birth of a new child is welcomed by the family. Again, students, listen. The birth of a new child is welcomed by the family. Students, please respond. Say true. Students, listen. When grandparents become great grandparents, parents become grandparents. Again, students, listen. When grandparents. Become great grandparents. Parents become grandparents. Students, please respond. Say true. That is very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please have the students be in groups of three or four. Then, let them read the poem, which is on page one hundred twenty-three, and encourage them to answer questions four and five of page one hundred twenty-four. Please move round the class and encourage each student to participate. Do the activity. For about two and a half minutes, you may begin.
Thank you, teacher. That is very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song. Father, mother, sister, brother, he and she and I and we, he and she and I and we, father, mother. Sister, brother, are a happy family. That is very good, everyone. Teacher, please call girl number one to come to the front. Girl number one, listen. Who is the youngest person in your family? Again, girl number one, listen. Who is the youngest person in your family? Girl number one, please respond. Girl number one, listen. Who is the oldest person in your family? Again, girl number one, listen. Who is the oldest person in your family? Girl number one, please respond. Girl number one, how many people are there in your family? Again, girl number one, listen. How many people are there in your family? Again, girl number one, listen. How many people are there in your family? Girl number one, please respond. That is very good, girl number one. Please, go back to your seat. That is very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, please... Have the students be in groups of four or five and let them discuss about what domestic chores their family members do. Please encourage each student to participate in the discussion. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English for Ethiopia Grade 6, Unit 7, Lesson 11. Produced by Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology.